Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the scissor tool in Adobe Illustrator. So on screen, you can see I've created a design using the scissor tool. And this is what we're going to be creating. So let's just get rid of this. And to start with, I'm going to select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And we'll leave the black stroke and just deselect that fill. So we have no fill and a nice black outline. Let's go ahead and position that on the center of the artboard. And what I'm going to do to start with is go into the stroke panel and increase the stroke weight. Let's keep going up. I think we'll stop at, there we go, we'll go to for 120. So what we're going to do to start with is we have our circle is 120 points in stroke weight and we're next going to select the scissor tool. Now you might see the eraser tool. If you left click and hold, it's located under there. So you can select scissor tool and the shortcut for that is C on the keyboard. Now how the scissor tool works is as we hover along the path, you can left click and it will make a cut. So if we left click there and we left click here, you can see that it now cuts that path. And with the main selection tool, I can just drag this out. So literally, like a pair of scissors in real life, if you have a piece of paper and you make a cut, the paper stays together, but then if you pull it apart, you can do that. Kind of, like digital scissors. So that's how the scissor tool works. So let's go and undo that because we don't want to make that cut there. What we're going to do is select our circle and with the scissor tool, we're going to make a cut here. So in between the left and the top anchor point. So we'll just click to make a cut. And we're going to make another cut. So let's go down here. And we'll try and do the same distance on the other side. So we've got these segments now that we can pull out. And we can go into outline mode. That's command or control Y. And we can see our circle without any design styling applied. So what we're going to do now is we'll move these over to one side. We don't really need them, but we'll just keep them there in case. We'll keep them there for fun. We're going to select the line tool and just left click anywhere on the artboard. And it brings up this dialog box and you can set a length. We're going to set a length of zero pixels and click OK. And essentially it creates a line that is zero pixels and it has a stroke. So it looks like this. Now don't worry, it's not going to look like that for much longer. Let's just go and position this roughly where this curve would appear. And what we're going to do now is select this single anchor point. Now the width is still 120, but the cap is set to butt cap or square. And we're going to change that to round cap. And you'll see it's a single pixel and as it rounds both sides off, it becomes a circle. And we're going to select the remaining part of our circle and do the same. So from the stroke panel, select round cap and voila, we have created this kind of shape. And this is how it looks in outline mode. That's command or control Y. So you can see that teeny tiny couple of anchor points on their own there. And that's how it looks when you apply round cap. And we can get rid of these now. We don't really need those anymore. So that's how you can use the scissor tool to uh, kind of make a cut within a path. And we can do something creative like this. So select everything by dragging over it. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Hold alt and shift to scale towards the center. And from the stroke panel, we can adjust that stroke weight. So let's just decrease that. We'll go for, I think 50. And we can even hold shift and rotate this 180 degrees so it points in the other direction. And this is all still fully editable so we can change any of these strokes. And we can hold shift to multiple select different elements. And we could give these some colors. So let's add some color to these strokes. And really this is just kind of one tool, uh, one way of using the scissor tool to create the design as we have on screen but you know there's tons of different ways that you can use this so i think it's worth kind of just understanding and explaining this as a tool and how it works and then you can go crazy with it and hopefully it'll be useful when you come to create your designs so 
there we go that's how to use the scissor tool in adobe illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.